In this video, you're going to see a through the lens comparison of the Pimax 8KX, the HP Reverb G2 and the Vario VR3 so that you will know what are actually the differences between those high resolution headsets. So absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back to MRTV, my name is Sebastian Ang and you're looking through the lens of the Pimax 8KX right now. By the way, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, you should absolutely do that now if you're into virtual reality. All right, let's talk about the picture of the Pimax 8KX and I can tell you it looks good. Looking through the lens of the 8KX is nice. I would say that things look good, look sharp and we are looking at a 4K resolution per eye. So 3840 by 2160 pixels per eye here. However, this is spread over a huge FOV of 170 degrees horizontal and well, therefore in direct comparison to this here, the HP Reverb G2, we do have a clearer picture here and a sharper picture with the HP Reverb G2. And later in this video, we're going to have side-by-side -side comparisons and then you will see this. The Reverb G2 has a resolution of 2160 by 2160 pixels per eye and that is spread over a resolution of around 96 degrees horizontal. In direct comparison, this looks sharper than the 8KX, however, we have less edge-to-edge -edge clarity. So in direct comparison, the Pimax 8KX does have a bigger sweet spot and better edge-to-edge -edge clarity. So now let's have a look at the Vario VR3. And I believe that you can directly see it. This is the clear winner of this comparison between the Pimax 8KX, the Reverb G2 and this headset, the Vario VR3. The interesting part is that the resolution of the Vario VR3 isn't even so much higher than that of the competitors. We're looking at 2880 pixels by 2720 pixels per eye, so even a bit smaller than that of the Pimax 8KX. However, we have aspheric lenses. And these lenses, these clear aspheric lenses, in combination with this high resolution screens, this really makes the difference. So aspheric lenses are those clear lenses and Fresnel lenses that the Pimax 8KX and also the Reverb G2 uses are those lenses with these concentric rings which will give you this glare effect and wow, look at this. L simply look at this, how clear that looks. What a beautiful picture we have here, wow. And what I want you to look at is that arena available now on the right top. Even it's not anymore in the center of the picture, it's still clear. And that is the big difference as compared to the Reverb G2 and also to the Pimax 8KX. Or now, the 218PM on the top or the recently played, it's still clear. And if you would rewind this video and have a look again at the Pimax 8KX and the Reverb G2 and then look at that library text or any text, you will see when you get out of the focus area and more to the top or to the side of the lens, it won't be as clear as here. And that is the big difference. And I can simply tell you, I enjoy simply looking at this menu in the Vario VR3. It is so beautiful and I hope you can see that. Now let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. On the left, the Pimax 8KX, in the middle, the HP Reverb G2, and on the right, the Vario VR3. All three headsets look good. And I believe that even without magnifying the picture, you can tell that the Vario VR3 has the edge here. However, let's zoom in now and really see the difference on the pixel level. I've zoomed in here now on that health split icon and then you can very clearly see it again. The Pimax 8KX looks okay-ish, but not as good as the Reverb G2 and the Vario VR3 is the very clear winner. There is absolutely no question about it. Next, we're going to go to the ROV test environment. And I really like this test environment because it allows us to very clearly see the differences between the headsets. And here we start again with the Pimax 8KX. And 
also here the headset looks really good very sharp and something that i have to stress again you have this kind of sharpness over a really big fov much bigger than the hp reverb g2 and also the vario vr3 by the way, I redid this whole video because in the first version of the video, the through the lens footage of the Pimax 8KX and the G2 was slightly out of focus and that did not adhere to the MRTV quality standards. Let's also talk about pricing and availability. So you can get the Pimax 8KX from the Pimax website and it's going to set you back $1,258. And well, that is the headset only, you still need controllers and base stations for this. So now let's have a look at the HP Reverb G2 in exactly the same environment. And the G2 is simply super sharp as well. And what you don't see in this 2D video, when you're actually wearing the headset, it looks sharper. And one of the reasons is that you have a better binocular overlap with the HP Reverb G2 as compared to the Pimax 8KX where everything is a bit more stretched out in order to have that huge FOV. The whole thing is easier on the eyes here. And you can pick this up for only $449. It is on sale now and it's really a steal. So if you want to get this, you can get it on the HP website for $449 and that is already including controllers and you do not need base stations. So if you want PC VR, very clear PC VR, this is still a great headset. And now let's check out what the Vario VR3 can do here and again, Wow, just wow. The picture quality is just so incredibly good. Check this out. Even until row 11, you can now read those letters. It is fantastic. And I have never seen this kind of clarity in VR before. Unfortunately, Vario is selling this only to enterprise customers for over $3,000 and these customers also have to pay a yearly fee of $800. So right now, unfortunately, still out of reach for us consumers. But again, dear Vario, please, please launch this for consumers. Make a consumer version of this with the same lenses, with the same LCD panel, and you could even drop the focus display because it's not being used here right now and it's still so clear. Okay, now let's do the side-by-side -side comparison. On the left, the Pimax 8KX, in the middle, the HP Reverb G2, and on the right, the Vario VR3. In this shot, which is not magnified, all three look pretty good. And we need to get closer in order to see the differences. When wearing the headsets, you could already see a difference here, but now let's zoom in and now let's focus on row 11. So check out the Vario VR3 on the right. It is very clear. And in direct comparison to the Reverb G2 and the Pimax 8KX, it is better. Especially for the Reverb G2 and the Pimax 8KX, you can see the individual pixels here already on this magnification level, something that you cannot on the Vario VR3. Zooming in even closer, it becomes more obvious. On the Vario VR3, you can still read the characters and you cannot on the Reverb G2 and the Pimax 8KX. And if you compare Reverb G2 with the Pimax 8KX, you will also see that the Reverb G2 has a slight advantage here. As mentioned before, the Vario VR3 isn't even using that super high resolution focus display because my GPU cannot run it and we would need something like a 4090. So now we're going to compare glare, god rays. What you're looking at is the Pimax 8KX through the lens and well, Fresnel lenses and we do see some god rays here, but it's not as bad as the Valve Index, for example. Actually, it's pretty good. Let's compare this with the HP Reverb G2. And also we do see glare, we do see god rays. However, it is actually not so bad. And well, if you would see the Valve Index as compared to this, you would go crazy. This is actually not bad. However, still Fresnel lenses, so there are still god rays. Now let's compare this with the aspheric lenses of the Vario VR3. And as you can tell, wow, it's such a huge difference. It is such a huge difference, it's crazy. I love aspheric lenses. Yes, they do introduce some more distortion, that's true, but 
things simply look better. It looks so clear. You don't have that glare problem that you have with Fresnel lenses and oh, it's just so nice to see this. Yeah, so this concludes my comparison between the Pimax 8KX, the HP Reverb G2 and the Vario VR3. Again, if you want Vario to come out with a consumer version, give this a thumbs up and tell Vario in the comments that you want it. They do read the comments and probably your comment can make the difference. I so would love to see this in the hands of enthusiasts because they would have such a great time. All right, that's it. If you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do that now. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.